From the Convergence Studio in the School of Communication, this is Loyola News Chicago. Welcome to Loyola News Chicago. I'm Nathan Bobinchuk. And I'm Ashley Barnes. Here's the latest news. Starting next week, there will be one less place to shop for groceries at the Water Tower campus. Loyola's dining service is closing Market 820. In preparation like for closing Market 820, there will be a sale going on through Wednesday, November 24th. The store will be officially closed by Thanksgiving. Market 820 has been open for two years on Pearson and Rush Streets. We talked to students who missed the luxury of Loyola's only dining grocery store in downtown. I'm kind of upset just because it was very convenient, but the prices were really high. It's really helpful in those quick in-between times when you can't quite run up steps, but you are going to pass it up whether you're taking the 147, 151, or any other bus route to get here. No word yet on what will replace Market 820. However, the students have other food services available at the Water Towers campus, including Terry Food Court and Nina's Cafe. The popular alcoholic energy drink, Four Loco, is about to undergo some changes. The drink is made by a Chicago company, Fusion Projects, and the company has announced it will voluntarily reformulate Four Loco to take out the caffeine. Also this week, the FDA has sent a warning letters to the makers of Four Loco and similar products, saying that the combination of alcohol and caffeine is a public health concern. Several college students have been hospitalized after consuming these drinks, and some states have banned them. A new Loyola study is showing that the binge drinking as a teen can put them at risk of, of mood disorders later in life. The Loyola, health, Loyola University Health System study shows that when exposed to large amounts of alcohol, adolescent rats' hormones are permanently changed in how they react to stress. In humans, this kind of change could lead to mood disorders like anxiety or depression. Binge drinking is defined as four or more drinks for women and five or more for men and can begin as early as age 13. This is Disabilities Week on the Loyola campus. Best Buddies and the services for students with disabilities to gain awareness about knowledge with people with disabilities during this time. The week includes a dinner dialogue, research fair, and culminates with a movie, Laughing at Our Differences, which is a stand-up comedy about diversity and disabil the disability awareness. And if you need some comic relief to get through the week before break, Loyola University's LOL Week is something to consider. The Department of Program is hosting a number of events where the students can watch a variety of comic performances like well-known groups, Second City, and also the ever-popular comedic hypnotist, which is sure to bring a crowd. Next, Wrigley Field is spilling some ideas for change, and not just purple for football. And coming up, do you have problems with wrong numbers? Stay with us, because you're not alone. Abandoned and lost. From the dark, cold streets of the city to a cage in the local shelter to heaven, your lap. You're Elmo's plan? Your plan? Yeah, Elmo's mommy said that if Elmo is too sick to go to school, the plan is that Elmo stays with Luis and Maria. Oh, yes, we have that plan all in oh, place. Oh, great! <laughs> you never know when your child will be too sick to go to school. So have a plan ready so your child can stay home and get healthy. Luis is the man because he's Elmo's plan. The man because he's Elmo's plan. <laughs> to learn more about preventing flu, visit flu.gov. Welcome back. Northwestern University's Medill School of Journalism may be in legal trouble. Medill's famous Innocence Project seeks to exonerate prisoners through investigative projects and has freed 11 men since 1999. However, Illinois state prosecutors are accusing some of the students of violating the law in the case of convicted murderer Anthony McKinney. Prosecutors say they have evidence that the students used a hidden recording device, which is illegal in Illinois, without a subpoena or court order. Northwestern officials say they are reviewing the procedures used in the Innocence Project. And do you feel like you get a lot of <coughs> calls from people asking for someone else? It's not just you. Wrong numbers are a fact of life these days, with more and more people getting cell phones and only so many numbers to go around. Sometimes these calls can be funny, and sometimes they're just annoying. 
I was mixing up the last two digits and I kept calling the same number over and over again. And this woman finally was like, Alice is not here, stop calling this number. Scope the numbers a little deeper before you decide you want to call me and harass me about a bill that doesn't even belong to me in the first place. We took the number of the family that lived in the house where we moved in and uh, for about three years we got a call from this senile older woman who uh, was looking for Angela Johnson consistently forcing my normally docile mother to get rather angry at the end. For more stories and tips on how to avoid wrong numbers, check out this week's Phoenix. While still getting ready for the Northwestern Illinois football game, the Cubs have something other changes on their mind, and it's more shocking than a purple sign, digging down and around. While the Cubs are negotiating whether any government financing will be involved in the project, the team has released some early ideas of the proposed renovations and development. They include clubhouses built underneath the playing surface, the addition of several upper deck patios facing Clark and Addison streets, wider concourses, and another version of the long-awaited Triangle Building. An excavation project will begin next week to see how far they would have to dig if the underground bunkers are possible. Not only is Loyola rated as a great place to go to school, but a new survey shows that it's also a great place to work. The Chicago Tribune rates Loyola in the top 100 places in Chicago for 2010. In fact, Loyola is the only university that made the rankings in the large businesses category. Almost 1,300 Loyola students and employees responded to this survey. With the Thanksgiving break next week, there's one more option for getting to the airport. We're all familiar with the shuttle service that goes between the water tower and lakeshore campuses. But, with the <clears throat> but for the break next week, you can take the shuttle to and from the airport. The Free Enterprise System, the company that runs the Loyola shuttle, is offering service to both Chicago airports next week, and the price is lower than the, some other alternatives. The shuttle will cost $25 one way, or $40 round trip. We checked other services and found the round trip prices on the GO Airport Express and cabs are considerably higher to both airports. But the Loyola shuttle will make just one trip to each airport on Wednesday afternoon and one back on Sunday afternoon, and only from the Lakeshore campus. You need to call 1-800-323-5281 if you want to reserve a spot. And finally today, a shout out to Loyola School of Communications Trivia Bowl team. Our team finished fourth out of 27 teams in the Trivia Bowl, sponsored by the Asian American Journalists Association last Sunday. The team included students, faculty, and staff. Our own Catherine Murphy was a team member, and we hear she was on the go-to girl on the celebrity news and gossip. Well, we beat out several of the schools, so I guess that's good. And celebrity news and gossip, I couldn't do it. <laughs> Me neither. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned next week to see what's going to happen.